Good afternoon. Uh, well, uh, a pro-con session, I guess, there's not much of debate left. We've all been using MUF for many years, and I have been given an uphill task of saying that MUF is not a must for all complex congenital surgeries. So uh, basically, we know that there are these three types of ultrafiltration techniques which have been in vogue. Ultrafiltration to start with came from uh, dialysis units, and then it was extrapolated onto cardiopulmonary bypass circuits to get rid of excess water and to correct the electrolyte abnormalities. What we have is something called conventional ultrafiltration, modified ultrafiltration, and zero balance ultrafiltration, which I'll be calling cuff muff and Z-buff respectively. So talking of cuff, uh, it's done on pump when the patient is on CPB. No additional pump is required, and uh, the most commonly used method is that the filter is inserted between the arterial filter purge line and the venous reservoir, and the pump head is used as the pressure driven for the filtration purposes. MUF uh, is done after the patient has been weaned off bypass. It could be arteriovenous MUF or a venovenous MUF, depending on whatever is the protocol used in a particular institute. It helps with improvement in uh, hemodynamic, pulmonary, and coagulation and other organ functions with a reduction of total body water, reduced need for blood transfusion being the additional benefits. So now the question, uh, well, ZBuff is uh, a circuit similar to CUF. It's usually started at the beginning of rewarming, and the way it differs from CUF is that whatever fluid is removed by filtration and a Z-buff is replaced by an equal volume of replacement fluid. So Z-buff done in case of 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 done in